Hello YouTubers, this is uh, Brian from Van and Solar Adventures and um, a few weeks ago I did an unboxing of the uh, Kodiak uh, solar generator from a company called Ener Energy and uh, I'm going to start and I've had it for a couple weeks now and I'm going to do my go ahead and do my review today uh, just wanted to show the unit real quick I've got it on the charge cord right now, but you can see I, I'm lifting it with one hand. It's roughly 20 pounds. It's got the cool uh, Kodiak logo there. And uh, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit. I'm going to start with the good, and then I'm going to end up with the not so good, okay? So the good thing is the capacity. It's 1100 watt hour battery. Uh, the AC inverter goes up to 1,500 watts, which is even more than the Yeti 1250, 1,250 watts. Pure sine wave inverter. Um, you can see it's got six AC plugs. It's got a 30 amp RV plug. You won't find that on any other solar generator. Um, it's got an AC outlet capable of 3,000 watt starting surge maximum 1500 watt that is the highest capacity of any it's got four DC outputs uh, it's got eight USB outputs and it's got two uh, base camp LED light outputs and, uh, and anyways it it's got a pure sine wave inverter um, I know it's got an MPPT uh, charge controller as well let me see if I can find that on here but it, it's basically it's got all of the good features of the Yeti 1250, but it's better. Uh, somewhere on, on here it says MPPT, but anyways. Uh, that's, so I, I've been using it for a couple weeks, and I've had a pretty good success with it. Um, all of the outlets work. I've yet to try the RV plug. Uh, I do actually have an RV, and um, uh, I've used this as a backup power source, which is cool because the generator uses uh, is noisy. And in a campground, if you've ever been in an RV in camp in a, in a campground, you really don't want to be the only guy there running a generator and causing a lot of noise. And uh, and so this is cool. You can power your RV without any generator except for this. And you, you don't even have to have any adapters. You can plug right into your RV power system with this 30 amp plug. Uh, these, the the directions are not so perfect. I mean, the, the like the manual. Uh, for example, the manual that, I, that was sent with this unit says that these USB ports and these 12 volt port ports are always live. They sent me, I, I asked the question, they sent me an updated uh, manual. Basically, these 12 volt ports are always live. And, and to uh, turn on any of the other ports, the AC inverter or this or any of the UCB, USB, you have to turn the unit on. And again, it's 20, 20 pounds. Uh, even the Yeti, uh, I think it's like slightly heavier than the Yeti 400. And it's, it's, it's really light. It has more capability than the Yeti 1250 and it's only 20 pounds. The Yeti 1250 is like 100. 10 pounds or something like that. Um, all right, I want to get to the not so good parts uh, before I forget them. Um, right away, I want to point this out. Uh, this unit has these uh, LEDs that show the amount of power left in the unit. And uh, they shipped this to me, and these are not calibrated, so these do not actually show how much power is in it. Uh, also, here's the reading on the on the display. It says I have uh, 11 point, you can barely see that, 11.76 volts here. You know, 12.7 is 100%, but even that's not calibrated. When this is fully charged, this says about 12.3 uh, or something like that. And um, so, so I can't really rely upon this at all to tell how much charge is in here. This is a little bit more reliable, 
but I know that it's it's about 0.4 or more volts off from a full charge, which is 12.7. Um, on the good side, though, I've it appears that the battery is actually functioning properly. I'm getting the power output that I should be. It's just that I can't really gauge. It's like you're having a fuel tank gauge on a car not working, and you're just kind of guessing when you're going to run out of gas. Um, what else? So, so the gauge isn't working. Uh, also, when you turn this on, now the unit's off. When you turn this on, a fan is supposed to come on. So I've owned this unit for about four weeks. The fan came on for about uh, two weeks and then just stopped. So I sent a note off to uh, Energy and I said, hey, what, what's up with this? And they said, it's, it's still safe to operate. It's got a backup fan in here. If this were to get too hot, it, they say another fan in here will kick on and cool down the battery. But the, the main fan is supposed to be on all the time and it's not near as loud as uh, some other fans. It's a pretty quiet fan. Um, they say it's not necessary for the proper functioning, but I'm still probably gonna return this unit for the reason that the fan is not working. Uh, this LED strip is not calibrated and, and this reading is not calibrated when it's, when it's full. Uh, it's not reading that. Also, the readings are just not as refined as the Yeti 1250. Uh, you you have to know what see it's, it basically says I'm using some power there, and that's because it's on. It's powering the inverter. It, it's telling me how much power I'm using, 0.1 watt hour to use the inverter. Now, I can plug the uh, charger back in, and I can show you what it's like to charge when you when you plug it in to charge. Um, this little light comes on, you heard the clicking, and it's charging now. So this will cycle through, basically saying I'm getting to uh, 10.3 watts, uh, and and actually it's just it's just kind of confusing what what the numbers actually mean, but it is basically charging. I think you're roughly getting about 100 watts. Per hour charge into this when you're plugged in. The other bad thing is, is they they sell a th this is a Nutric connector right here. It's kind of dark. Let me uh, light that up for you. That's a Nutric connector right there, and they make that to to charge with the uh, energy solar panels. But I already have normal solar panels, so they make a Nutric Nutric connector to uh, MC4 connector adapter cable. And uh, I ordered it months ago, ago and they still have not shipped it to me. They actually shipped me a cable, but it's got a, uh, a uh, female end. This is a female end. They shipped me one with a female end, so I need one with a male end to actually go in this port. Um, so I can't charge this other than uh, with an inverter from my other uh, solar system uh, so that's that's basically electric electrically inverted from another system I have charging that um, again the good news is look at all these ports you, you, you know on, on a Yeti 1250 or a Yeti 400 you have very few ports they put six ports on here so you don't have to carry an adapter with more ports a lot of the other units will only have one 12 volt you have two. A lot of units will have maybe one or two USB. Well, you have four. So this is a cool unit. They just need to refine their quality issues. And uh, if they were to fix their quality issues, I'm going to say hands down, this is the best unit on the market. Uh, it's better than the, uh, the Yeti 1250, the Yeti 400. There's another unit that I tried out, another lithium ion unit that is uh, 40 pounds that I did a review on. This, this is better than that as well. Now, you might say, hey, Brian, the price is high. That's ridiculous. It's only good for, for uh, weekend preppers, right? Well, uh, you can get some sales uh, if you go to Indiegogo uh, or uh, check out uh, 
energy uh, site, they have sales from time to time. I, I think I got mine, I don't know, uh, five or six or seven hundred dollars off their current retail price. So be on the lookout, buy this at a good price, have patience, it took them a long time to ship it to me. There's some quality issues. And, and But so far they're working with me. They're kind of slow working with me. They don't always respond right away. You have to have patience. Um, you have to uh, follow up with them constantly. But so far they're still working with me and hopefully I can uh, uh, get this all corrected and, and, and uh, working perfectly. But it is still working. It's still functioning. I'm very quite happy with the unit. Um, and uh, just wanted to show another view of the unit. It's pretty, 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 uh, pretty small. You know, I'm going to show it kind of next to a fan. You can see the relative size. Uh, it's just very small and lightweight, and, and a lot of power packed in that. And it's just a really cool, really portable system. You, you can even if you don't own an RV, you could take this with you if you're a tent camper. You could power a fan for three or four days. Uh, you could power all your electronics for an entire week. It's 1100 watt capacity so very cool all right that's it if I think of anything else I'll po post a future video but I did want to finish my review of the Kodiak solar generator by the company called energy thanks have a good day people